Welcome to another Tango tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be discussing the Motor Control Center switchgear layout. This layout provides the ability for a facility to give a visual representation of an MCC or switchgear. Map buckets or cabinets to the asset components they are connected to and display buckets and cabinet information without having to view each separately. We will start by creating an MCC. The same process will be used to insert a switchgear. First, we navigate to the function level where the MCC will be located. In this example, under the Unit 101 Cooling Tower, click the drop-down menu next to the function Tower. Then select Insert MCC Switchgear. An Asset Definition Editor will display in the main view window. Fill out the asset name for the MCC. We will call this one MCC1. Then click Save and Edit. Users also have the ability to choose Save, Add Next if the user wishes to add multiple MCCs or switchgears. Once the location is added, click the arrow to extend the tree next to the tower. The new MCC will now be available. Click the drop down menu next to MCC1. If you want to rename the MCC, you can choose to edit the MCC switchgear. However, we can view the MCC layout by clicking on Other Reports header then selecting the MCC switchgear layout. The layout UI will display in the main window. Now that this is open, let's discuss some of the user interface options. Under the general section, the location information will be displayed. By clicking on the name link, users will be redirected to the asset editor. By clicking the unit and function name links, the users will also be redirected to the unit and function editors. The QR code on the right is there to act as a quick access to the layout design with a smartphone or tablet, especially if the layout is printed. A QR tag can also be placed on the MCC allowing the users to directly navigate to the layout design as well. The layout section displays the buckets and cabinets. The user will need to set up the asset components and the equipment to start adding locations into the layout. We will get to that in a few minutes. However, let's look at the configurations. If the configurations are not displayed to the right, click the sprocket icon. To remove the configuration information, simply click the sprocket icon again. Some planning is required to start the layout. The first thing the users need to determine is the number of columns and spaces that are needed to fill out the layout. The layout is assuming that no bucket or cabinet can overlap into multiple columns, and the designer will not allow us to do so. Let's look at an example of an MCC image that I found on Google. The MCC has five columns, which is pretty obvious. However, the spaces, meaning the number of buckets or cabinets that can fill the MCC, is not as easy to determine. In this example, I would start by determining the smallest unit, which would be one of these. Now that we have determined the smallest, we need to determine how many of these units will fit into the entire column. In this example, nine of these units will fit into the column. Note that we are not counting the top and the bottom spacer units because they cannot contain buckets. But here's where it starts getting confusing. Just because nine of the smallest buckets can fill the column does not mean that we only want nine spaces in the layout design, and here's why. Look at these two groups of buckets. Both sections fill up three small buckets of space, but the first section only has two buckets. There is no way to represent two buckets where they can be of equal size in the available space. I have created a layout that uses only nine spaces. We can see that the last two buckets do not match the layout of the example MCC because they are not equal in size. In order to make the layout accurate, we will need more spaces to make the two panels equal. So, in order to make this work, in this case, we can see that the two buckets in column two takes one and a half small buckets of space. So halving the size of the smallest bucket will allow us to properly size the two larger buckets in column 2. Therefore, the smallest bucket takes up two spaces, and the total spaces will equal 18 instead of 9. Now with 18 spaces, we can size the two buckets correctly compared to the smaller buckets in column 3. Here's what the layout looks like with the proper 18 spaces. Now that we have determined the number of spaces, we can go back to the MCC layout. In the configuration, you will see the columns and space options. The default configuration is 5x5. Five five. In order to change either of the numbers, click on or to the right of the number. This will highlight the number. Simply type in the new number. 
or once you hover over the text field, there is an up down arrow clicker on the right. Click the up to add more columns or spaces, or the down to take them away. The layout will automatically display your changes. For this example MCC we looked at, there are five columns and we have determined we need 18 spaces. Now we have the option of changing the size of each of the columns or spaces by changing the space, height, or width. Just like before, click on the text field to highlight the number and type the new height or width. In this example, let's set the height to 20 pixels to approximately match the example MCC. Two spaces equal the smallest bucket. The last item on the user interface is the information displayed in the layout once the buckets have been inserted. We will discuss this after we have added a few, which we will do now. To add a bucket, the first thing we need to do is to add an asset component to the MCC. Locate the MCC in the tree on the left. Next to the MCC, click the drop down menu, then select Insert Bucket. Once the asset component editor displays, enter the component name and the equipment type plus any additional fields desired. For the equipment type, entering anything except for a bucket will cause an equipment mismatch when inserting a bucket equipment type. Also, in order to reduce the steps when installing a piece of equipment, uncheck the defaulted Insert Anonymous Equipment checkbox. The layout will not display anonymous equipment. When everything is filled out, click Save at the bottom of the page. We can also click Save Add Next to insert a second asset component. After creating the first component, refresh the tree and we can see the empty asset component. Now we need to fill that location holder with a physical piece of equipment. So let's minimize the tree to see only the plant, equipment, and services. Drop down the equipment branch. Extend the electrical equipment section. Locate bucket and click the drop down menu. Click insert equipment definition. Once the equipment definition editor has been loaded, select the bucket type. If a type is not in the drop down list, add it by clicking the red plus icon. Type in the name and click OK. Next is the MCC column, meaning which column are we adding the bucket to. In this case, we'll be adding it to the first column. MCC spaces is asking how many spaces does the bucket occupy. In this example, the first bucket takes up 8 of our 18 spaces. MCC starting space means which space does the bucket start. The first bucket in a column will start in space 1. However, if this is the second bucket we are adding, and the first bucket takes up 8 spaces, then our starting space for the next bucket would be 9. The last required field is the plant tag number. This will be a unique number that we can search for later on. I will call the first bucket 1A, meaning column 1, bucket A. Then next will be column 1, bucket B, or bucket 1B, and so on. Fill in any additional information desired and click Save at the bottom of the page. The Equipment Definition page will be loaded where we can then click the Actions to reveal the menu. Click Equipment History Actions to extend and then click Select for Install. Once clicked, the gray box will turn yellow to indicate that there is a pending action. Now we navigate back to the asset component in the tree. Click the drop down menu and select Install Selected Equipment. The Equipment History entry page will now be loaded on the right. Scroll to the bottom, insert any installation information desired, and click Save. Refresh the location in the tree, and we can now see that the Equipment 1A is installed in the Bucket 1A location. Let's open the MCC layout to see the newly added bucket. I will add a few more buckets without audio so that you can see how it's done.
Here you can see I made a mistake by labeling the plant tag 1B when it should have been 1A. I will install this piece of equipment in a moment and then show you how to correct the issue after it's been installed. This is an example of mislabeling a piece of equipment. By putting the mislabeled plant tag 1B and inserting it into the asset component location of 1A. Now we have two locations with the plant tag of 1B. To correct this issue is simple. Locate the equipment we need to correct in the tree. Click the drop down menu. Under equipment actions, click equipment definition. Once it is loaded, scroll to the bottom under actions and click edit next to the equipment definition. Correct the field, in this case the plant tag, and then click Save. Reload the tree, and we can see that the plant tag is now correctly labeled as 1A. Now that we have added a few buckets, let's jump over to the completed MCC. Let's compare it to the example. We can see that the layout matches the example as closely as possible. Please note that we do not have to add buckets in the order they appear as long as they are correctly labeled in the equipment definitions. The MCC column, the spaces, and the starting space information. However, if the information is filled in incorrectly, the layout will not display properly and may overlap in parts of the layout panel. Be sure to check the equipment information if the buckets are not displaying properly by locating the equipment in the tree or the search feature. Click the drop down menu, click Equipment Definitions, click the Edit button at the bottom of the actions beside Edit Equipment Definition. Double check that the column and the space information is correct. Make any changes needed and then be sure to save. Going back to the layout user interface. The information that is displayed in each bucket can be altered in the configurations by clicking the text fields next to the name, plant tag, bucket type, etc. Select false if you do not want the field to show up in the layout panel, or true if you do. If the equipment definition does not contain data in one of the fields, it will not display in the layout and will need to be added to the equipment definitions if the user wants to see that information. Once the field has been set to true or false, Tango will save the settings until it is changed. The default is set to true when creating an MCC layout. The last item for the MCC switchgear layout is from the Fed location. If the MCC is mapped to a circuit breaker panel, users will see the Fed from field in the general information. By clicking on the link, it will take the users to the circuit breaker panel designer. The MCC is mapped to a circuit breaker panel from the circuit breaker panel designer. To get to the circuit breaker panel designer, a circuit breaker must be created. Let's go to a circuit breaker panel designer that is already existing by locating the circuit breaker in the tree, clicking the drop down menu, and selecting equipment definition under the equipment actions. At the bottom of the equipment page, under services, reports, header, click the view button next to the circuit breaker panel designer. This will load the circuit breaker panel designer. From here, we will need to click the pencil icon on a breaker which will load the breaker details. Scroll down to the map locations and click the blue plus icon. Search for the location by typing the MCC switchgear name, such as MCC correct, and then click search. Once a location is found, click the add button and the mapping will be complete. Now that we have added the MCC, view the MCC layout and we will now be able to see the fed from link. To learn more about the circuit breaker panel designer, users can view the circuit breaker panel designer tutorial. Thank you for watching this Tango video tutorial.